Hello everyone, this is Astocky here. Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. This is going to be, I guess it'll be part two to my How to Create a Ticket server. And the reason for that is if you go to the link that I had previously provided, which is technicpack.net, you will see the very first thing is that Ticket 2.1 is out. So what I'm going to do is show you that if you want to create a Ticket 2.1 server that includes all the latest bit, you have to keep going past the original link we went, which is a 2 server and go to a 2.1 server. Now, this is a development build of the server, so if you want a more stable server, or a server that's been tried and true and tested, probably stick with 2, but I like going for whatever's latest, so I'm going to uh, stick it somewhere where I know where it is, and I'm going to go for the 2.1 server. So once this is done, actually while this is happening, I guess I'll talk through a few more things. In the last server video, I talked about uh, using Hamachi as being the best way to put the server online. Um, I've had a few comments from people who don't like Hamachi or want to try and do something without using Hamachi. I guess basically Hamachi is not the only way to do it. The reason I do it that way is because that's the easiest way for me to get the server online without having to bother about port forwarding and also I don't have a static IP, I have a dynamic IP with my IP with my internet provider so that means every time I disconnect and reconnect my modem I get a new IP so using Hamachi is just a much easier way to do it. So you can see now when I run this batch file it'll create a new world. So what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm just going to edit the file, I'm just going to change the world name I know it's here somewhere, there we go, level name is going to be Ticket 21 actually Ticket 21 so allow now the true enable flight is going to be true stick with a standard server port, I'm going to leave the level seed and server IP blank because I'm not intending to put this online, this is just again just a test just for purposes of people who want to watch I'm going to change PvP to false and max plays to 5, even though that makes no real difference. So now we'll go close. There's some other things I had open previously. So now if I double clicked on launch, the server will boot up and it will create. Now I know there's been a lot of people trying this and some people have been having some issues. So this is the default, just as I downloaded it. You can see if you right click and click edit, there is the command that it runs. Now, for people running a 32-bit operating system, I've realized by running this on my test laptop that this will not work. The way this is configured will only work on a 64-bit system because of the way they've got the memory configured here. So what you want to do is you want to change the XMX to 1.5 gigabytes and this one here to 512 capital M for meg. And you can do the same thing over here, and you can say, say make it 11250 m Now, that uh, XMX value you'll have to play with, because depending on how you've got your operating system configured, will kind of tell you how much RAM it's going to need, and how much RAM it's going to have available. So that could be a number that you need to tweak. I found that 1250 works quite well on a system with 4 gig of RAM. Anything more than about 1250, and you sometimes hit Java limits as to how much space Java can have. So even a system with 4 gig of RAM normally won't be able to allocate 3 because Windows will be using a lot more than that. So I'll just save that because like I said the way I have my system configured I only allow 5 people in and so you know 1 gig is really plenty for 5 people. So I'll close that down now and launch it. You can see once again that it comes up saying that there's a whole lot of stuff missing and it starts to create it all. So we just wait for this to finish creating. There we go. So now it's finished. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to stop the server. You can see that it now comes up press any key to continue that it's finished. And so what I'm going to do is go into the plugins chop tree and as I always do I'm going to change the chop the chop tree no not chop tree it's world edit that I want to change 
There we go, world edit. So I'm going to open up the world edit config file and change the default item from being a 271, which is a wooden axe, to a broken record, because otherwise it's really annoying when you get started. And now this is going to be a bit of a two-in-one video, because now that I've got that going, I'm going to launch the Technic Launcher and upgrade my Tekkit as well, because to get Tekkit to connect to the new version 2.1 server, you need to go into Options and say Always Use Development Build and make sure that that build number there matches. So that's 2.1, which is the latest. So now when I hit Login, it's come up Update Failed. Okay, I know this happened last time when I was having trying to do the server video as well. It's because of the Minecraft updates. It normally takes a couple of days for the Technic team to push out the particular patch files that they need to put out for a new Minecraft update. And I know that Minecraft has updated to version 1.3, so... Oh wow, that is something that's new as well. I did not realize that the Yogbox had been updated or had been added to the launcher. So there you go. So lots of things happening at the moment. It's a bit of a pity that it can't update the way that it needs to. So I'll go back to recommended builds and see if that works. No, that's not working either. So obviously there's a bit of a problem with Tekkit on my system at the moment. And this is part of the reason why I haven't got my server up and running. It's been kind of glitching in and out of me and having some trouble with trying to get Minecraft to work correctly with all the updates that are being pushed out at the moment. That and I've been really busy. But that basic process that I run through there is going to get you a new Tekkit 2.1 server. And it's going to allow you to configure it to run on a 32-bit operating system if that's what you've got. And it's going to allow you to update your Tekkit files that you have on your PC and log into that new version 2.1 server. At least that's what it will do once the Minecraft team have updated everything. So that's all I had for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section. I've been trying to be as helpful as I can and let everyone know what I know so that you can, if you have any problems, I can try and you know help people out. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, Stocky out.